to pee so bad. I think my bladder is gonna burst. And all the cars keep going really slow. Oh my gosh. Hello, good morning. It's about 9.30 a.m. Sorry for the shakiness of this video. I am walking and vlogging. So, this past week was a pretty uh, stressful, hard week for me. I um, did really well last weekend and the beginning of the week with my diet and I fell off for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So, that was only three days. I wasn't really tracking my macros. Um, I woke up this morning and after my weigh-in of 123.8 on Wednesday morning, um, this morning I weighed myself for the first time again and I was 126.2, so almost up three pounds. That's okay. I am going to be on today. I'm feeling much better. Um, there are a lot of things going on at my school that were super stressful for all the administration and the teachers and the students. And it was also homecoming week, so there were a bunch of events and stuff like that. And so all that stuff kind of combined, put me, um, threw me completely off my game. I was super tired and so yeah, so Saturday morning, it's 9.30-ish a.m. I got up and um, drank some iced coffee, but other than that, I haven't had anything. And I am walking to my apartment gym. I'm gonna do some cardio, basically some fasted cardio, even though I did have a little bit of coffee. And that is the plan for now. Um, then I'm gonna head to H-E-B. I need a few things so that I don't eat horribly and I can prep some stuff and I'll probably film one of the things that I'm making because I'm, I'm trying it out basically for the first time. It's something that I um, have made up so that I had the idea for last week. And yeah, I'm feeling overall a lot better. I'm excited about today. On Thursday, I taught a couple dance classes and then I took a hip hop class myself and that was just really good for my soul. I had posted the dance on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram yet, I'm at Mandy Nicole Fit. And yeah, it was a really great stress reliever and although it has made me super sore. just finished my cardio. It wasn't anything too crazy. Um, we don't have a lot of cardio equipment in my apartment gym. There's like two treadmills and two sort of like elliptical things. Um, so I hopped on a treadmill. I warmed up like on a big incline and then I did some intervals where I just jogged going straight forward and then I did like some side gallops for about 30 seconds and then jogged slowly for the other 30 seconds and then changed sides. So I repeated that until about 20 minutes and then um, I walked at like a moderate 
pace on an incline again to kind of cool down. So I'm still fasted. I'm gonna get in my car and I'm actually gonna go get my eyebrows worked on. It's on the way to the grocery store and go to the grocery store and pick up the few items that I need and come back and hopefully watch the Texas Longhorns beat the hell out of the Oklahoma Sooners and probably work on a YouTube video while I do that. So that is the plan and I'll catch y'all in a little bit. Meal number one. It is now past noon, about 12.15 and I am eating now for the first time. So I'm gonna eat this and then do some chores and then make my barbecue chicken muffins that I'm going to show you how to do. So, looks so good, I'm so hungry.
All right, I'm watching the game, so it's loud in the other room, but this is my next meal. So I've got two barbecue chicken muffins. I filmed making them, so I'm not sure if that's gonna be in this video or a different video yet, so. But either way, I will show you how to make them. I've got um, about 70 grams of cooked asparagus spears with some garlic powder, a little bit of spray butter, and a little over 100 grams of sweet potato baked in the oven. So that's what I'm eating for meal number two. Sometimes we forget why we're here. It's easy to fall off track. These help us remember. These battle scars don't look like the fate. Don't look like they're ever gone away. They ain't never gonna change. These battles. Growing up, I had a dream, something no one else could see. Tell me what it means when your faith is falling beneath your knees and you can't breathe. Everything you see reminds you of what you're not or something you won't be. You gotta take what you're given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be an accountant because it's safe in a business. Not because they wanna do it, just because they heard it pays. And who the fuck wants to be poor knowing that's how we've been raised? Society is getting heavy, I can feel the weight. The pressure of success is like a hundred million pounds of shame. And that's the reason I'm staying up late, trying to find a way to escape the stereotypes this day and age is making me feel like the only way i'll be happy is getting signed to a label and making money through rapping i want to share my emotion because this world is attacking the very principle of life that lets the people be happy if you don't have a reason to breathe why even live these battles cause our impressions of everything that it is I made it home from the gym without peeing my pants barely that was really scary guys um, I ended up going to a different Gold's tonight because it's Saturday and the ones closest to me close at 8 and I wasn't taking off until um, like 630 and so I didn't want to be rushed, especially on my Saturday. That's when I have the opportunity to take more time at the gym. And so I went to a Gold's um, farther into Austin that is open 24 hours every day. And it was packed because that's where everybody goes at that time on a Saturday or a Sunday when their regulars Gold's are not open. So. Um, I had a great shoulder workout. I did not film all of it. And I have to mention, I got a lot of the, the exercises that I did from Paige Hathaway's channel. So um, I followed her on Instagram, but I didn't even realize that she had a YouTube channel. And she doesn't have that many workouts on there, but there was like a shoulder and abs workout. And sometimes I just run out of ideas and want to change it up and so I take exercises from other youtubers also so um, I definitely want to give her credit for it though so I did a great a couple great shoulder exercises a couple 
I got to film. And, um, but now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna eat for dinner. So, let me turn the camera around. All right, so for dinner, I'm eating this bowl of my husband's chili here, just one scoop with some yeah. uh, reduced fat mozzarella cheese on top. And then I made myself a piece of garlic toast. So this is this Sara Lee Delightful bread over here, which I love, it's like whole wheat. And I toasted it and put some spray butter and then some of my garlic Parmesan popcorn seasoning stuff on top. And so that's gonna add the garlicky taste. And I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this. <laughs> 